everyone happy Friday it's me I'm back <laughs> and um, I actually did a vlog yesterday and I think what I'll do if this video is not too long I'll attach it onto this if not I may put some more stuff on it and just post it this weekend but yesterday I ran out and I just felt like chit-chatting in the car so um, we are still flooded in it's getting better I think the state or the county or someone finally came and put a pump at the end of our road and so trucks regular trucks like John is going to try to come home tonight instead of having to park way over in the next neighborhood on the street and um, but I don't think I'll be able to get for a while but we did get Bluebird out um, through someone's through two yards it's people that let us get through so anyway I was I have been able to get out um, I had my hair done this week um, she did something new I will probably have to do a hair video soon so that doesn't take up too time too much time but um, I'll do that soon I'll do a video on my new hair color which I am crazy about and love and there's just some new stuff out okay so first thing I'm going to tell you about is Dean Davidson I've told you guys for years what a good heart he has what a good friend he is and throughout the whole hurricane just like so many of you he kept in touch with me and what's going on and everything and he wanted to know you know he wanted he said he'd been thinking about ways that he could help and he said what if we have a sale and I give proceeds to charity and I said gosh that would be great so then he went on and on and thought about it and he ended up sending me these hoops which were are part of his classic collection they're so pretty I wore them yesterday they're very light um, just beautiful I, I don't know if that will focus on them but you guys can see them pretty well and he is giving all of the proceeds to these hoops to the ASPCA and he texted me yesterday and has like a mailer that he's going to send out let me read it um, it says, in conjunction with our friend Lisa Lisa D1, from now until October 5th, 100% of net proceeds from all purchases of our best selling square hoops will go to support the ASPCA, rescuing, supporting displaced animals in area impacted by Hurricane Florence. So, if you guys would like to, I know I am always looking for good ways to give. And I'm kind of selective with how I give because I don't want to give to some of those companies that only have to give 5% of what they give to the actual cause. And so this is a good way to give and to know that 100% of your money that you give to Dean will be given to that charity. And um, I have not looked up that specific charity, but I've never heard anything bad about the ASPCA. And in my experience with the people, the cat adoption that I adopted my three cats from, those people are dedicated. They would not, they would not only not take money from their organization, they give everything they've got, including their time and everything. So I do think it's a very, very worthy cause and a great way to help. And thank you so much, Dean. I wanted to tell you about those and they come in this nice like little velvety pouch and the nice box like if you wanted to give them as a gift it's probably not too early to think about Christmas which really scares me but it's true okay then so that's the main thing and oh, I just think they're awesome and I think sometimes this shape is even better because sometimes the larger round ones can get in the way not that I not that I care but you know <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with something that Denise sent me before the hurricane that is so exciting and I cannot wait. And I had, when I came back from Washington, I had so much about my Nate I wanted to share with you. I had so much about, I wanted to continue our packing, you know, conversation. And I still will. So here's someone walking down the street with a book bag on getting to their home because we have to, it's hard to carry all your stuff from where we have to park to all the way down the street. But anyway, so, so many of you had the best packing, you know, ideas. And I've watched so many videos um, that helped me so much. And I 
kind of bombed when I went because I waited too late to ask you guys for your tips. So it was too late for me to, I tried. I tried to do the whole putting the, you know, outfits out on the bed. It was, you know, John had to go to bed. It was just, it was kind of a, a bust. And, but one thing that so many of you have said is packing cubes. And Denise sent me a set of packing cubes. I mean, just so cute. I love them and they are nice. They're the space pack. And they, it comes, doesn't come with, but she said to make sure I watched the video. So I did. And first, let me show you what they come with. They come with this bag, which I, it's like a toiletry bag. Then they come with this flat bag. And then they come with this like good, I, I would say the medium size bag. And then it comes with this larger bag. And I have all ideas I might end up, I don't know. I feel like I might want to end up ordering another set of them and I would get these exact same ones. Okay, so it comes with three space packs inside. A clothes, underwear, and mini toiletry. Came with more than that, didn't it? Um, did it come with, it came with more than that. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I don't know why it says that. Um, three space packs inside. Okay, so I guess the mini toiletry might not be that. I'm not sure. Anyway, you saw what it came with. But the whole concept is after you, oh, I love that and how it has a clean side that you can flip. Um, anyway, I'll, you can look up the, I'll, if I can, if I remember, I'll put the video down below. But um, the thing is, when you put stuff in here, you kind of compress it and there's air, you know, little things on the outside right here and so the air goes out and she said you what you do is fold it like in a certain way oh my gosh there's a van looks like a van has gone through down there oh it's getting better okay and then you're able to compact your clothes and pack even better so i'm really really looking forward to that and i have another trip coming up and I'm not sure if we're gonna announce it yet. Um, it's a trip with a friend of mine, so I will leave you hanging on that, but it's in October, it's coming up soon. So I'm looking forward to using all of my packing skills that you guys told me, and maybe we'll even do a video on that. Okay, another thing I got before the hurricane is this t-shirt from Erica, Hitchcock Madrona, and it's their new t-shirt that they're doing for their business, and you guys are probably familiar with the shield that she is popular has made popular and um, it's their little um, storefront, you know, their name, their logo on there. And this t-shirt is really cool. She did a video having it on and I'll link it down below where it goes off the shoulder. I thought about wearing this today, but it's hot. It is so hot outside that, and I have to walk. So I, did, I wanted to wear something, you know, that I could be cooler in. So thank you, Erica, for that. Okay, um, before the hurricane, this is another thing that I purchased. My Ulta is just, I must have the best Ulta ever. We have got NARS now. I think I told you guys about this. And I bought this set of lip glosses. It is the Narcissist Wanted Velvet Lip Glide Set. Brooke's got one of these, but we have been loving these colors. They are the best nude colors and it was just a really good deal. So I think that we've been using them. They've been sitting out here, we've been using them and we both really like them. So that's something I wanted to show you. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna forget so much, but I might and we'll just have to make up for it. I just haven't made videos because I don't wanna get into it. Maybe one day I will when everything is over and I'm not, I feel like I'm kind of in a um, upset phase, you know, I'm, I'm kind of upset, you know, things aren't normal, and so I might be more emotional, I don't want to get into it, but one day I will, so, um, and I see some other stuff, this is just going to be a, like a mini haul, and I'll have to do another one maybe this weekend, so um, this morning I got a comment from one of my old videos and it was not too old I think from last year it was the guest ad makeup video and I'll put the link down below and I watched it and I remembered so many things that I did in that video that I have kind of 
lost and haven't been doing. So I did, I kind of copied that look a little bit more today and I switched up a few things, but there's a couple of things I used that I forgot how much I loved. And another thing I've been doing during this time, I figured if I wasn't going to make videos, I would do some other things I needed to do. And that has been using different foundations and kind of weeding out the ones that I'm just not crazy about. And also with like any other makeup products, if I put something on in this past week or two that I didn't just love, I set it aside and have been giving some stuff away and still have some stuff in there. So that has been going on. And anyway, so when I did that video this morning, I got out my Dior Air Flash and I also got out my Artiste foundation brush. And I didn't even know where it was because I had kind of, when I did my new closet, I had organized my brushes and put them all away in a nice box and kind of forgotten about them. So I got that out this morning, got out my Artiste brush, washed it, got it all ready and used this and I love it. Um, let me pull you in closer so you can see my foundation. This is it, and it is the um, Air Flash number 301. The color is beautiful, love it. I loved it on that brush. I just sprayed it on the brush and then did my face. What I used as a base is this, and this is something else I was gonna say that I could not believe. I went to Ulta the other night for the first time in probably at least two, if not three weeks and they have a Chanel counter in my Ulta, a beautiful Chanel counter. It's not fully stocked yet just because they're getting in the stock. All of our, our whole town, our stock is behind. Um, I went to UPS and they said it's not that they haven't been bringing their stuff to me. They weren't even getting their shipments to the UPS store. So a lot of my stuff has already been sent back. I had bought a new curling iron from Nordstrom and I just got a refund for it this morning where it couldn't be sent to me. And I'll put a link to it down below. I can't remember the name of it, but I would love for you to guys to tell me if it's a good one. It's Bioionic, I think. I saw someone using it over the hurricane and I ordered it. And anyway, so I don't know if I need to order it again. But anyway, one of the um, tutorials I was watching, I believe it was Barbara Medeiros. Um, she used this, and it's the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel, the fluid. And I remember a long time ago when I used to be all about Chanel cosmetics, there was a makeup artist that used to work at the Chanel counter, and then she went out on her own, and she said that this is the main product that she uses on every single person, and that she would be lost without this. And Barbara mixed this the other day with her foundation. So I picked it up, and I have been loving it. It is, okay, you're gonna ask me, how does this differ from the By Terry? How does this differ from the um, flawless filter. How does it differ from the Giorgio Armani, all the other things that I have shown you that are similar to this? And this is what I would say. It's not as intense and it is not oily. So I kind of wish it had a pump, but it doesn't. It just comes like this. And um, I hope that you, boy, there's all kinds of cars coming down my street. I love it. I might be able to even drive home today for the first time. But um, so you will see that it does not add crazy, it doesn't add, add as much coverage. I don't know, I might take that back. I love it so much. I just love even looking at it in the screen. Um, it dries, it really dries. I would say the thing it is closest to is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish. I would just say it may not be quite as shimmery. It almost just gives a true glow. So I think I have been using it as a base. I used it as a base today underneath my Dior Flash and I used it yesterday underneath um, maybe my YSL All Hours, which is still probably my favorite foundation or at least up in the top two or three. And um, I love it. It is just beautiful. So I'm so glad I got that. And if you're curious and you've been thinking about it, maybe you saw a Barbara's tour tutorial, maybe you've been, you know, thinking about something like this, I would say to try it because it is fabulous. I love it. So glad I got it. Okay, another thing I got from the counter at Ulta the other night is the Chanel 
uh, De Chanel corrector, long wear color corrector in rose. So I thought, well, maybe this will be something good um, to use like in place of the Prep and Prime Radiant Rose or the Giorgio Armani. And what I've been doing like today, I put it on underneath, it comes like this, I put it on underneath, like before I even put on, I think after that, but before foundation. And I'll show you, we'll put like one dot and I wanna show you how brightening this is. And I love how, of course, this is going right over that, but it's still, it's still, um, see how brightening it is and how sheer it goes out, but yet it keeps its, like, opacity so that it really does brighten those under eyes. Even if you don't have dark circles, I have, you know, and I think most people have that hollowing out right there, especially as you get in your 30s and 40s. And I know that a lot of people get that, um, filler put in there, but that is like a really, that is one of those things that can go wrong, even though you can dissolve it, but I don't ever want to look really fat, like right through here, and so I don't want to get filler there. Um, so I would rather just put something there to kind of bring that forward and cancel out that dark shadow. So that's what that does, and I've used it. Um, so today will be two days in a row, which isn't very long, but I've been impressed so far. It does not cake up. Let me see how close I can get you. So it has not caked up. I did not put any powder underneath my eyes. That's another thing that I think, you know, you watch these videos and you start doing this stuff, even though I do like Laura Mercier, that's my favorite one. I just don't think baking underneath the eyes is probably the best thing for me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what, you know, what combination. Sometimes it goes way bad on me. So anyway, today I'll put that video down below the one I followed basically, and I'll put the exact items I used down below this, and you'll see. I um, just did things a little bit different. So anyway, love that so far. Wanted to show it to you. Um, I did stop in my med spa yesterday when I was out, I ran a lot of different errands and I, you know, have stopped using a, I've stopped using any of the, I have a, a story. I stopped using my clear from the Abaji line, but I have been using the Abaji C serum that has the hydroquinone in it. I'm not convinced it works as well for me. And so I wanted to try something from the Zoe skincare line that had the hydroquinone in it. They've got two products. They've got one that has the C in it. So when I get through with my serum, Obagi, I will probably switch to that and I'll probably be out of this by that time or close. So I, you know, chose to just get the Melamix Skin Lightener Blending Cream with the hydroquinone uh, 4%. And I have gotten just a little bit of darkness back above my lip. And so that is what I want to combat. And I have just not used a lot of, um, let's see, apply two pumps to the affected areas twice a day or as directed by a physician. I always use sunscreen. Indicated for gradual bleaching of hyperpigmentation, skin conditions such as uh, cloasma, melasma, freckles, um, some words, any unwanted, un unwanted areas of pigmentation. So I have not even really read up on this like I usually do. I'm still, um, I still want to speak with someone at Zoe, but it's not their fault. I have just dropped the ball and have not called them again to try to talk to someone. But um, so anyway, I did pick that up yesterday and I'm looking forward to using it. Um, another, I wasn't gonna show you this, but since I'm doing skincare, hold on, let me grab this. Okay, when I did go get some of my packages, um, earlier in the week, I got um, went to the post office and they had several packages. One was in there from Colleen Rothschild. And I love seeing her packages because she always has something. <clears throat> she has really good taste. And in her products, I mean, some people start a company and you, know, you believe in them and you want to support them. But her company is something that I would have, even if I didn't know her, I would be so impressed with. Um, this is, it's a new um, matcha tea treatment toner and super soft facial cotton with her little logo in it. She is so top notch. That's, I guess, just very, everything is very classy, 
very, um, she's been in this business a really long time and I'm just really impressed with everything. And also, um, Natalie Flowerbomb did a video that if she had to repurchase, if she lost all her makeup or skincare products, the first 10 products she would purchase, I think I'm gonna do that and kind of make it a tag if anybody else wants to do it because I think that is a good way for me to do kind of like an updated skincare um, because it's not that different than what I told you last time, but it'll tell you the 10 products that I find the most important. So I'm gonna do that soon. Um, but going back to this, um, matcha tea joins forces with kombucha black tea and Japanese green tea to detoxify, protect, minimize pores, and absorb excess oil. Um, and it's an antiseptic. Um, its antiseptic power helps fight bacteria to defend against future breakouts and minimize the appearance of redness. Um, it's got French algae, which absorbs excess oil. Prebiotic helps balance microflora. Fermented plankton delivers essential hydration. Matcha tea protects against free radical damage. And I, toner to me is like dessert. I love a toner. To me, it's like so gratifying. And it's one of those products that usually smells good. It feels good. It gets off anything you didn't get. It's just one of those products that I think we all love. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, let me see. I haven't, I've had this sitting out here, so I don't know if it's, yep. Okay, so it's in one of these. I like that. And then these are her cottons. How beautiful. And let me get one out. I'm thinking they're probably going to be similar to the Shiseido, which are so fabulous. And I will have to say, I have found, you know, those ones that are a little bit cheaper on Amazon, but they tear quicker. Like when you're using them, they do tear, they come apart a little bit quicker than the nicer ones. I will admit that. Okay, so here is her cotton. Oh my goodness. Bougie. See her little thing in it? I like the size of these too. And you can actually, okay, I did have two. I was gonna say you could take these apart, but that was two. So I'm looking forward to trying this and I will let you know, but I can already tell you, I've, I don't think she's sent me a product I wasn't impressed with. Um, I'll say again, my favorite product from her would be the enzyme, dual enzyme scrub. And yay, I remembered this. Right now for her birthday, she's running 25% off. So I'm so glad I showed you that. And I'm so glad I remembered that because I got her email this morning and I wanted to tell you that. So 25% off. Okay. Now I'm going to get to, I'm sure I have forgotten something, but I will do another video this weekend. Maybe I'll get on a roll and get back into it and start feeling it again. Um, I know I have a pair of shoes that I got right before I went to Washington. I got them from Oliver and there's something that Kelly ordered for me because she used to carry them. And anyway, I'll tell you that in a minute. But today when I was using a couple of things that I had not used in a while, the Dior was something that I, when I used it, I thought, oh, I love this. I just love it. These were two more products that I felt that way. And I wanted to just kind of tell you because I love to be able to tell you things that I have shown you in the past and, you know, you might not ever hear about again. And I wanted to tell you how much I still love them. One, Bronzel Lip Liner. If Ideal Lip Liner is a little too dark for you and maybe a little too brown, or intense, then you should try Bronzel. This lip liner is, it's a, it's a classic. It's a favorite of so many people. It's Lancome. It is the best consistency. It goes with light pink. It goes with nude. It can go with red. It's just a really, really good nude lip liner. It is one that I can just 110% tell you that I recommend and I really, really, really think you'll like it. And you know, I just loved it so much when I put it on, I was like, oh, I forgot how much I love you. And so Ideal would probably still be my favorite just because I like more of a lip liner look, but you will really love Bronzel. Okay, this is something that I got not too long ago and I showed it to you when I was doing my um, video on how much I loved Anna Sacconi's look and I grabbed this today instead of the naked palette that I had used in the previous video for this look I grabbed this palette and it is just such a beautiful palette the tones in this 
palette are just so me. That's kind of like a not too cool, but not too warm brown. That gold shimmer is one of the prettiest gold shimmers I've ever used. And it's just such a, such a versatile. The pigment is perfect. The, just when you blend it, it's just a dream. I mean, it's just a really, really good palette. And um, I bet, you know, there's other colors in this series, but this one is called May Contain Nudity eyeshadow palette and I just loved it. So it's definitely, I have been putting palettes aside that I just liked okay, but I wasn't crazy about them. This is one I'm keeping and I'm keeping out. So um, I think that's it. I'm gonna go wash my hands and get this stuff off and I'll be right back. Okay, and then let me, I'll stay close to show you these. Okay, these are the shoes that I just got and I've been wanting to wear these so bad. I even put them on the other day with a pair of jeans and <sighs> They just didn't look good with what I had on like a tank top or something and I didn't want to ruin them because even, I'm not even gonna show you my flip flops, they're so dirty. I have scrubbed them with like, um, like a all purpose cleaner and they didn't come clean. I need to order some more black ones but I've been waiting um, until my mail gets right for to order from Zappos. So anyway, bottom line, I didn't wanna wear these and get them messed up but they are Anina Bing and um, they're size 38, which is an eight. They run true to size. And the name of them, it's kind of what put her, she came out with these boots a long time ago and they kind of put her, I hate to say put her on the map, but they made her popular. Um, I don't know, it doesn't really say what they are, but it's these little boots. And they are very, very similar to like, they're the same look as like the Chloe, boots that are so popular. I've had the Chloe before and I ended up selling them because I think I had gotten, I was unsure about the size that I had, but I have saw these years ago. I mean, I think Kelly sold these um, probably two years ago or three years ago and I've had them on my mind ever since and I always regretted that I didn't get them. And then about a couple of months ago, I ran into a girl that I know here in town and she had hers on with a pair of faded jeans and like a white t-shirt and she just looked so cute and I just loved how they're edgy and they're just super, super comfortable because the heel isn't very high. And so I got them and I haven't been able to wear them yet because I don't wanna get them dirty and it's just now getting kind of like booty season, but they're awesome. Now they do have that rocker look, like you can totally see, like I can see Kate Moss or Rosie Huntington Whiteley or something wearing these. They are a little edgy, so not everybody you know, may like them, but I think they're gonna look awesome with even leggings with like a long sweater or my moto jacket. You guys know how I like to dress in the fall and winter. Um, or even leggings and a long, cool faux fur, like that butterscotch one that I just got from, I can't remember where I got it from. If I can look it up, I'll put it down below, but I can't wait to wear that thing. And um, I love just all the gold on it. To me, it's just kind of like a rocker, but with that gold, it makes it just a little um, more glam, kind of like glam rocker. <laughs> that's what I, that's how I would describe my style. So, um, Anyway, I don't really have on a good outfit of the day. I just can't, um, like I said before, I can't get inspired to really dress up when I've got to walk through the dirt and the grass and the mud. So um, I just actually have on a little, I showed this to you in my um, vlog yesterday. I have on a little cami that I bought on sale and those yoga pants that I love so much um, from New York and Company. Sorry, my camera went off. I just bought a new pair and I have enjoyed the uh, medium long. I can wear the medium regular, but I've enjoyed these medium long. And then when we go out to eat, um, like last night I went out to eat, I'll just take this with me and um, I will wear these shoes. I've been wearing these because these, even though these are stylish and nice and comfortable, I can still wash these off. So um, that is pretty much my outfit of the day. And this little cami does have like a shelf bra in it. The other ones that I wear a lot of times don't. Okay, and then for accessories, of course, the earrings that I showed you guys that I hope you all will buy a pair and you know, that'll be a great way to help out. And he is going to handle that for anyone that um, 
would doubt my sincerity or whatever. I don't know. My mind is so, I've been kind of scarred with the, um, you guys know. Anyway, um, so this is also one of his rings. And my nail polish, you will think I'm just nuts, but I have not been sleeping well lately. And so the other night I was going through um, a lot of my old pictures and um, I, I ended up seeing this on pin Pinterest, which I thought was really, really cute. I mean, I hope that is focusing there. Yeah, I think it is right there. I was looking at different nail designs and then I came across this old picture. You guys will probably remember when I showed it to you a long time ago. Where the girl has on like the light pink and then the red nails. And so that is pretty much what I did. And I'll put the colors that I use down below. <laughs> and let's see. Let's see if there was some, oh, this one too from, I, I thought this was, huh, I thought this was Marissa. But anyway, this was another thing they did at the Dior um, Fashion Week is they did metallic blue and black, two different colors in this. So just something different, just, you know. But anyway, so thank you guys so much for being here and thank you so much for all your support and I really felt your love in my heart over these past couple weeks and I just appreciate it so much and I will try to get back with you um, this weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.